What is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy JR4 aka the Rat Lord and in today's video we're going to be covering all the best settings in Warzone 3. We're going to be covering the best graphic settings, the best controller settings, the best audio settings. So you don't want to miss out on this video. As always, leave a like if this video does help out and also subscribe if you are new. But before we discuss the settings, I do want to tell you what I do play on. I do play on PC. I do play with a standard PS4 controller as you can see. So obviously my settings might be a little different from you. You might need to fine tune the settings yourself or at least adjust it just a little bit off to what I'm using. If you play on, you know, like a PS5 and Xbox or you play with a, a PS5 controller, Xbox controller, you get it. But yeah, let's start off with the display settings now. As you can see, I get a lot of questions. JR4, what monitor do you use? I use a NZXT Canvas 27Q HD, whatever monitor. I also have a 4070 Ti GPU, but uh, this is what I use for my display settings. All right, as far as the settings go, we get to down here. Um, you want to put your display resolution on whatever the max you know your monitor is. My monitor is a 1440p monitor. So I have my display resolution as 1440p. If you play with a standard, you need to put this in, uh, make sure it's at 1080p. All right, as we scroll down, just copy these settings because most of these settings, you know, I'm not a PC nerd. All right, I don't know all the best or I don't know the, the reason for all these settings. I just know that these settings work. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, NVIDIA reflex, low latency. Basically, if you have a stronger CPU than a GPU, you want this turned on. That's how it was explained to me. All right, so, but yeah, the rest of these settings, I have no idea what they do. Like I said, I'm not a PC nerd, so just uh, copy it down because it works for your boy. But as far as this setting go for custom frame limit, if you play on PC, you definitely want to be running this. You can uh, increase this to like 300 if you want, but definitely run 200 in the game, uh, 60 in the menu, and 30 out of focus. That way, you know, your game ain't crashing when you're tabbing off the screen. Focus mode, no idea what it does, 90 hdr turn it off all right so that's the display settings that's easy next up we got the quality now quality is what gives you your fps boost quality is how good the game looks now as you can see make sure your render resolution is at whatever you put in the display setting all right dynamic resolution we got that turned off now this is a big one right here fidelity fx cast you want to make sure your upscaling and sharpening is turned to fidelity fx cast you can have all these other settings but fidelity is the best one it makes the game look so much better so crystal clear and beautiful I ain't, it might even fine tune the colors bruh because the game by itself is pretty dual, but Fidelity FX Cast makes it look a lot better. But yeah, I got this turned up to 94. Next up, VRAM uh, Scale Target. This is uh, varies from every person. Some of y'all might need to put this at 60. Some of y'all might need to put this at 90. I put it at 80. Now, these settings right here, turn them off. I haven't seen no videos on them. But NVIDIA DLSS Frame Generation. This might help me out low-key. But if you got low frames, you might need to turn this on. Me, I'm good at like 150. I'm chilling. Next up, we got the details and the textures. Now, these settings right here are what determine your FPS. If you have this on all the way on ultra or high, then you're going to be getting less FPS. So I put mine mostly on standard, normal, and low. Because, you know, when you're playing Warzone, you want fast-paced action. You're going to be turning left, right, slide, cancel. So you want to make sure you have the best frame rate you can possibly have and by doing that you need to play on normal or low settings or low textures i should say but yeah i play on normal just copy these settings down but low key we don't got to go into detail like i said i am not a pc nerd i don't know all the settings and whatnot no disrespect to anybody that is your boy just huh i ain't built like that you know what i'm saying but yeah just copy these settings down these settings do help out a lot uh i'll try to talk about whatever settings yeah I mostly can cover the controller settings, bruh. All these other settings, like I said, I copied it down from other YouTubers. Just copy these down, bruh. It'll help you out. Trust. But yeah, let's see. We're just going through it all. Testolation. Yeah, all this is off. See? Next up, we got the view settings. Now, the view settings is what determines your recoil. It determines your FOV. I get a lot of questions asking me, JR4, are you using a Corona Zen? And I tell them, yes, but I also use these settings right here. These settings right here determine your recoil. It gives you less recoil. So you're definitely going to want to use all these settings. Now, as far as FOV, I play at 120. I know some people play at 110 because, uh, you know, they don't like the game too zoomed out. But you want to make sure your ADS field of view is on affected, okay? This helps you, uh, like I said, low recoil, no recoil whatsoever. A lot of people say that I use a Corona Zen. I don't. I just use these settings right here. Weapon field of view, make sure it's on wide because, you know, it's like more spread out. That way it'll be less recoil. Uh, let's see what else we got. World motion blur. All these are all film grain, 0%. This is another huge setting right here. First person camera movement, at least 50%. You want to put it all the way minimum. That way your screen ain't shaking. When you're shooting your gun, you're not moving like this. You're just straight low recoil no recoil whatsoever 
laser. This is how you get a laser by using these settings. Next up, we got controller settings. Now, like I said, your boy plays with a standard PS4 controller. So obviously my settings might be a little different from yours. You know, everyone's controller is different. Everyone, you know, some people play claw like a weirdo. Some people, you know, <laughs> play a mouse and keyboard like a nerd. All right, let's see. We got the button layout. Now me personally, like I said, everyone plays different, but me personally, I shoot with the uh, L1, R1. So I shoot with the top bumpers. I don't shoot with triggers. I shoot with the top bumpers. Maybe because I got small hands. I don't know, you let me know. But next up, uh, I also play on tactical. Meaning I press R3 to crouch. That way I slide cancel, you know, with R3. And I press circle to melee. So I play on tactical and I play with the, the trigger buttons flipped. All right, controller vibration. Turn that off, bro. If you play with your controller vibrating, we all know what you're doing. You got that controller shoved up your ass. You're weird, buddy. You're weird. Stop it. Get some help. Next up, we got dead zone inputs. Now, I'm not going to lie. My dead zones are chalked because my controller has stick drift on the right stick. Okay, I do need a new controller. Let me know in the comments down below. What controller should I get? Should I get a new scuff? Should I get like a PS5 Elite controller? Or should I get a standard PS4 controller once again? Let me know in the comments down below because my controller is scrapped. Like your dead zone on the right stick should not be this high. Your dead zone should be as low as it possibly can on the minimum settings. But uh, like I said, I got stick drift. So my freaking dead zone is all the way at 14. When I was playing on a good controller, I would have this down to like a, a five, honestly, or like a four, a seven is pretty good too. But try it around a five. If you do have stick drift, then you need to increase this a little bit. But if you don't have stick drift, the lower it is, the best and the more accurate you will be but yeah so these two settings right here are pretty good i got this from crowder as far as the left stick goes as far as the right stick you do want the max at 99 like i said everyone's controller is different so some of these settings vary for some of y'all some of y'all might be playing on an old cheap ass controller some of y'all might be playing on an elite controller therefore you can put this all the way at the minimum but yeah, as far as a uh, left trigger and right trigger goes just keep it at a zero next up we got the aiming settings now I play on a seven horizontal and vertical sensitivity. Sensitivity multiplier, you can copy all these down. Some people turn it down, you know, to be more accurate. I have it all at one. ADS sensitivity multiplier focus, I got it at 1.0. Tactical stance, 1.0. ADS sensitivity transitioning timing, I have no idea what that means, but, but we're gonna put it at instant. Next up, we got custom sensitivity per zoom. Now, this is what you can do for every site let's say you know mostly everyone plays warzone with the two to three times scope if you're having problem hitting your shots then just turn this down a little bit but me i don't have no problem at all next up we got ads sensitivity for a four to five i got this turned up you know when you have a sniper sometimes it's way too slow so i have it turned up a little bit loki i should probably turn all these up no cap because yeah the sniping do be slow with the sniper scopes I also have uh, the ADS low zoom, you know, when you're using like a slate reflector, I got it at 1.1 just so I can, you know, be flicking on people and whatnot. So if you want to flick, you know, you want to shoot somebody to the left, instantly flick to the right, then you would want to have these turned up a little bit. But if you want to be just as accurate as possible, then you want to turn these down to like a 0.9. Target aim assist, make sure it's on aim assist type. Now, this is a big issue, a big controversy in the Call of Duty Warzone community. A lot of people say to play on default. They all say that default is the best and they're right. Only in multiplayer because default is only the best aim assist up close and mid range level. Whereas Black Ops aim assist is the best for long distance. Now, if you're playing Urzekistan, then you're definitely gonna wanna be using Black Ops aim assist. But if you're playing Resurgence or multiplayer, then yeah, just play on default. But me, I play everything i play urzegistan i play resurgence i like beaming people out the sky i like uh lasering people from across the map so if that's your play style then play with black ops but if you're a multiplayer if you're a up close uh, up close type of guy if you like to rush people you know like i said if you just play vondel you play a sheikah you like fighting in little buildings you like fighting in the staircases then yeah use default but if you want to be a long distance laser beam then play on black ops like your boy a better way to say this is if you like using ars play on black ops if you like using smgs play on default that's the best way to explain it <laughs> yeah i like using ars i like using lmgs so i'm gonna be on black Ops. i mean black ops aim assist yeah next up ads aim assist on third person aim assist. i don't know what that means motion sensor behavior no idea off Okay, I guess these are all the settings. What was all this? Oh, God, what the hell is all? They got a whole bunch of settings that you do not need to touch whatsoever. Next up, we got gameplay. Now, 
gameplay is basically movement me personally i play on automatic tactical sprints if you are using shotguns then you probably want to turn this off next up slide maintain sprint on auto move forward off uh tactical sprint behavior single tap run grounded mantle you want to make sure you got all these mantle settings turned off you should already be copying these settings down but you want to make sure that these mantle settings are off you don't want to be having a gunfight you're shooting somebody you're trying to like press x to you know jump and mess up their aim or whatever and then all of a sudden you start climbing on a chair in the background and you just sell your whole gunfight bruh next up slide behavior you want to put this at slide only i don't want to see anybody dolphin diving ever again unless we're playing zombies on kino der Toten. make sure it's on slide only plunging underwater trigger parachute auto deploy i got it turned off because i like living life on the edge sprinting door bash on ledge climb behavior mantle only ads hold just like i said copy these settings down equipment behavior hold blah 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 interaction reload behavior this is a good setting make sure it's on tap to interact if you are playing warzone if you're playing multiplayer then put it on tap to reload but if you're playing warzone you want to be picking everything up picking up the ammo picking up the score streaks picking up um, a gas mask by just pressing square once by just a tap by a tap i want to open a door i want to open a chest i want to pick up a gun by just tapping square so make sure it's on tap to interact now as far as armor plate behavior we all know apply all all you got to do is hold down triangle and put on all the plates backpack control i got directional buttons depleted ammo switch off quick c4 group uh but yeah all these settings are pretty much meaningless but yeah like i said copy all these settings down and uh you should be good to go we did miss a setting i forgot interface also we got the audio coming up next but as far as interface goes this is what makes your game look better this is what makes the colors pop or the colors more vibrant color customization you want to be playing on custom all right oh wait this is this is all preference right here as far as this side go but as far as the filters this is what we're talking about filters you want to make sure you're playing on filter two you want to make sure your color filters on both and you want to make sure that these are all set to 100 these are what makes the game pop these are what makes the game have more color now this part right here this is a personal preference if you want to be a green dot on the mini map that's me you can change what color your teammates are what color uh, your party members are you can change what color the enemies are neutral i believe is your pink color so if you want to change your pink color to something this is what neutral is but yeah all the settings to make your colors look better in game come from right here filter two next up we got the audio settings now like I said, your boy plays on PC. I have an Astro A40 headset, if you are wondering. Since I play on PC, my audio mix is PC speaker. That is the best one to use if you are on PC. But I know a lot of y'all are on console. So it's, what's the best for console? Well, I did see a TikTok video that said the best one for console is cinema. But we all know headphone bass boost is a pretty good. A lot of people used to use home theater back in Warzone 1. Like I said, the latest thing I heard from TikTok was a cinema but you know you can't be trusting tiktok so honestly if i had to pick one if cinema ain't working then probably headphone bass boost if you were on console but like i said if you're on pc pc speaker yeah all right let's see master volume now as far as master volume the game is loud as hell so i got it at 60 dialogue you do not need the dialogue effects this is what you know like the gun fire the ammo drop into the ground that's all effects so uh, i put this at 70 because you know the game is loud as hell voice chat 50 cinema music you don't need any of that bruh so yeah these are my audio settings voice chat on you want to make sure you got these on too so you can be talking shit in game proximity chat on last voice chat on game voice channel all lobby i want to be talking smack to everyone and they mama yeah these are all just the settings i use in case anyone else is wondering reduce tonight to sound make sure that's turned on but yeah these are all my warzone settings that i use to you know absolutely pop off i get a lot of comments like i said jr4 what's your settings what's your cronus settings are you using an aimbot no i'm just using these settings right here so copy them down so you too can be a hacker in Warzone. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Deuces.